Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. Um, haven't made a video in a while. Um, it's been a bit crazy as I'm sure it is for most of you out there in the big wide world. Um, what's been going on? Well, I've had a few flights of the J3 Hobby King Cub. Um, but uh, I don't know where I'm going to add it to the end of the movie for um, the J3 series. Um, but um, the undercarriage was too soft for the likes of my landings or our landing should I say because I'm still being um, um, what do you call it trained uh, but it's, uh, there was something always wrong and um, and we put it down to <coughs> um, the actual uh, horizontal vertical elevator rudder elevator um, um, I'm not going to go too much into it but anyway so I'm after another trainer now I did go to um, wings and wheels up uh, for their event in uh, somewhere, somewhere, wherever it was, um, and it was pretty good. It was the hottest day ever um, that we've had in the UK, and we camped, and basically I died almost. The heat was just intolerable. It really, really was. But it didn't spoil us for seeing some fun, fun, fun stuff. Um, and we will. The phone is on, and we will go back to that in a little while. I'll put a little video in video as to say of a few fun things that I saw. Um, but we go there. So anyway, I'm after another trainer. So I got one. Okay, welcome back. And no, it's not an upside down plane. It's the Max Thrust Riot from Century UK. Um, I must admit, I, <laughs> as you might see, I've got some new lights. I bought some lights, looked on YouTube to see what was good lights and uh, bought some. It's great, but can I see anything? No. Can I see myself in my little viewer to see if you can see me, if I can see you? Me? <laughs> no. But anyway, hopefully you can. It's not an upside down plane, no, it's just the plane is flying upside down. Now, this plane, um, I, I will add the specs, I, it, somewhere on here on the box is the specs. In fact, should we just try and find that? I do, I have to put my goggles on. Boom, here we go, right, now where is the, right, okay. So, let me just spin this round without knocking the camera around. And spin it over. It did throw me, by the way, when I opened the box that the, it was flying up. Anyway, doesn't worry. So it's a 1400 millimeter wingspan. The length of it is 1130 millimeters. Um, it's an area, wingspan area of 36.75 dm squared. And the wing load is 40.3 uh, grams dm squared. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I do not know. Um, uh, thrust ratio is 1.2 and it takes a 11.1 volt 2400, which is 2400 milliamp lipo at 40 amps ESC. So that's a three cell. I've still got some three cells. Now, one thing I didn't get is my, no, yes, you can still see my extra, 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 put my mouth back in. Yes, I've still got to do that. The reason I haven't done that is because, as you might have seen in one of my other videos, I have now got the X10 FR Sky Radio, and I buddy boxed the other day with it with the FR Sky OS, and I really like the OS. I've been playing around with it. It's great for doing your rates and expo. I like it, um, so I don't think I'm going to put OpenTX on it. I don't know, but this I wanted to use the. Um, uh, the what's it called preparation is always a good thing three axis stabilization of the s6r fi sky receiver um, and to do that i need to um programming up which i want to make a video of um because i was trying to find one myself and you know it was all old so i wanted to make a new one with the newest software from fi sky to play about with that because obviously this thing here flies like a maniac and um, if I do get to fly I want to switch to stable but right, let me get a knife excuse me off camera just to... I've also at wings and wheels I've got another plane because you have to do these things and it's 
down there in a box. I don't think you can even see the box. I'm not going to tell you what it is. That's another day. Where am I going to put all these plays? I don't know. I've got to stop now. Time out. Okay, so let's... Anyway, so this is the unboxing of the uh, Max Thrust Riot V2. It's the version 2. Um, I can put the link below where I got it from. Now, I did a lot of research. Um, uh, yes, Chris, doing a lot of research from Dad's RC Hangar. Yes, I did. On what was the best trainer. Um, that's solid easy to put together it's not as fancy as the J3 uh, Hobby King hub cub hub cub it's been a long day long week but you know that that uh, did um, it had its issues in fact I'll probably make a quick video tomorrow on the on the cub and after I put this together because I want you to see some modifications I had to do which is uh, quite impressive on my behalf I believe and it flew and it was great uh, apart from the elevator that had some issues, but you'll get all that tomorrow. Sorry, sorry. Let's just crack on, shall I? Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, so I, I went around and looked through all these bits and pieces, and I was down to four planes. Um, some of them I've never even heard of. And then I started to troll the YouTube and see, you know, people that have flown them for the first time to see what it was all about. And this one came tops. This went head to head with the WAP 4, um, which I had. Um, I just didn't like the look of it. Don't ask me why. It's, it's, it flies nice, and when I painted it, sprayed it black, which you've never seen, because there's bits of it around here left. Um, maybe to crash. Um, it's just, it just wasn't, you know, doing it for me. Yeah, no. Anyway, down to the unboxing. Love the unboxing. Okay, here we go. Been waiting, waiting, and waiting until I do a video. So we can all look at it together. If I can undo the box. He says, did I undo this side properly or is it just being a pain in the bum? I'm being attacked by all sorts. I need a bigger hanger. This is what I need. I need a bigger space. Here we go. Try and get it off, he says. I think it's just sucked in. It'll be clean. There we go, come on. Something's attached inside here, I swear. No, it's not. And here we go. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get this. Look at this. This is this is awesome. Da -da 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 da 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 we have a bottle, sorry there's another bit of tape here eluding me, I think that's all their tape. We have a manual, a manual, wow, Century UK, awesome, I know it's printing, I know we're killing trees, but this could be made of recyclable paper, who knows. Now I, I can't see if I'm close enough because the lights are so bright in the eyes. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, we've got some wheels. Now these wheels are um, pretty cool. They remind me of the Watt 4 except they're singles. So I know you can see that because I can see the wheel. There we go, nice Oreo kind of wheels. I like the way they've sprayed this black uh, or powder coated. It's uh, uh, aluminium or over the pond, aluminum. Um, so that's good. Couple of wheels, always a good thing. Awesome. Okay, what else have we got in here? Okay. That's a whole box of nothing. Okay, but we've got dividers. And dividers, dividers, dividers. We are divided. Awesome boxes here. No, it's just packing. All right, okay. So the first thing we see is a wing, one wing, and underneath is another wing. So I mean, I think it's, it's a bit maybe dusty, which just feels a bit funny, so it's obviously been on the shelf a little bit. Why, I don't know. Let's see if I can get it open. Somewhere around here is an opening, because I don't really want to break the bubbly wrap. Going to have to break the bubble wrap. Why? It's always handy because 
This is also good sometimes for a makeshift wing carrier for to the field, so you don't less ha hanger rash and car rash and pull it together rash and everything else rash. Dense basically. All right. Already pre-decaled. Now I, with the what for? Um, I had an issue with that because. <laughs> I always used to knacker up my stickers, and that's why I ended up spraying it. Anyway, look at that, we've got a lovely LED at the end. Yes, it comes with LEDs. Pre-installed with the ailerons have, yes they have, ailerons have one, two, three plastic inserts that are basically the hinges, they're plastic hinges. It's not attached to the foam, so the foam's not going to get weak over time. Wow, I mean, okay, we've got a little where the foam's been made, but I mean, come on, it's a trainer and it's it wasn't dear as to say. And then inside, somewhere around here, uh, in there, and I'll pull that a bit more, a little bit more, and there we go. We've got our LED, hang on, hold tight. Aha, so we, no, that's a diddy, diddy, diddy connector. I know you can probably see it, let's bring these, uh, hang them in the front of the camera. If you can see that, there's a Diddy one and a normal one. So that's your servo and your LED and that's a nice chunky LED in the in the side there. Doesn't weigh anything. Look at the size of the span of the wing. You know, this is what you want, a big wing to fly on. Now, one of the things I went against this and the Watt 4, because I was going to get another Watt 4, is that this is a lot better in the wind and Let's face it, I mean, we're in the UK. I mean, uh, very rarely do you get a calm, calm day. Winds for about nine mile an hour is flyable, but the little gusts that we seem to get where I fly, uh, they, they come out of nowhere and surprise you. Uh, not you need waking up because you're so excited by flying. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a lot sturdier and a lot sturdier when it comes into landing as well, which I like, which is fantastic which is brilliant. Right, anyway, back to the unboxing. Here's another wing, another LED. I'm gonna keep that in the wrapper because I'm not gonna put it together just yet. As you can see, this is a big wing. So, okay, so these boxes here, I don't know if they're... Uh, oh, yes, they Okay, these boxes have got something in them. I'm, I'm, I'm teasing you, people. Well packed, very well packed. For the price, I mean, you know, I don't know what they are now, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is one of it says this is the wing tube. A bit surprised about the wing tube. Why am I surprised? Because it's aluminium. Tap that on my head. Oh, that too. Aluminium. Pretty well weighted, but I mean, it's a big wing. It's a big surface area. Impressed with that. So that's a wing tube. Okay, that's nice. As I say, I'll do a put together video tomorrow. I'll, I'll put this up to see if anyone's. Let's not put that in the bag. Let's just put that there. I'll do that. So let's put that over there. Now on here, it's got written on the box horizontal stab. So it's going to stab me horizontally. Stab. Ugh. So, horizontal stabiliser, no doubt it means. And then, so look at that packing. Look at that, the horizontal stabiliser. That is what the horizontal stab is. Not, not horizontal, anything else. Ooh, there you go, watch your fingers now. Please do, by the way, you know, let's just stop there. Thanks everyone for subscribing. 38 I've got now, and I appreciate every one of you. I'm really glad that someone else is following my journey and I, I really hope that you know either you're having a laugh with me or over me or you're enjoying what I'm showing. Now also look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful this has also got uh, inserts one two three four five six for uh, plastic I would have thought they are so they haven't they're not just held on by the foam this is good foam as well it feels really good they put the control horn in, uh, all ready for you. And once again, it's all decaled up, ready to rock and roll. That's nice. 
horizontal stabiliser or elevators and there's a little tube connecting them both as well I um, don't know how that's going to play out I think the actual the bar comes right into here you can't really see it in the lights but, but you've got one um, one control horn so one servo I and mean, then we'll give them a little wiggle around that's nice that's nice I like that that looks sexy so what else have we got in here then we have oh look it's a little bit of wood in here it's interesting I have to find out what they're all for but we have got the Bible the instruction manual so here's a prop and the prop spinner and the, and the holder whatever you call it that goes on the prop shaft they're screwed in so it comes as is um, I probably will change the prop for a master air screw um, I'm not sure I think this is a 12 by something if it's a 12 by 6 I've already got a master air screw I think the 12 by 6 was the, was the cub and I've got a spare because I, I, I just you know you know they're not going to spend millions of pounds on propellers because people are going to be crashing but I just don't like the feel now with the cub I mean that nose dives are quite a few times and because of the wind believe it or not and uh, the master air screw just stood up to it I said so what let's go again love it I know they don't pay me any money and they don't give me free pops but I will love it nevertheless helping you guys and girls so in here we've got a we've got another little bag bag of goodies we've got uh, a piece of a uh, bit wood so that's gonna go somewhere uh, looks like we've got a little plastic insert to hold the wings together another plastic thing that does something plasticky and another little bag with the screws in nice not many screws I mean you well, I've got two three four five six seven eight nine screws nine screws and that looks like it it doesn't do any gluing yeah I'm sure you can put some glue if you want glue to make it more sturdy but it's a trainer we don't want to glue it just in case we have to change bits and rather I was wondering where that was now these come in three different colors the yellow a blue and red now you might know by now that I love blue it's my favorite color blue but I thought wow shocking red's gonna be seen once again it's got lovely plastic inserts here for the for the rudder and the rudder feel, it feels good it feels like it wants to be a rudder there you go look at that with the decals on there as well stickers decals whatever they are I think they're stickers solid red lovely paint job they've really like you know painted all the crevices so it's not word of the day crevices <sighs> it is actually teeming down with rain outside but it's still hot or maybe it's these LED lights I don't know you have to let me down comment say something about if this looks better if you can say I haven't got my cat I've got my new t-shirt actually dad's RC hanger t-shirt polo shirt might be giving some of these away if you fancy washing your car with them you know drying in. yeah a friend of mine I will leave a link of his company below but he makes t-shirts for actually uh, for my business for our business uh, mine and my business partner's business and uh, he's made some shirts and I've got some caps and I forgot to put it on next time okay that is the uh what else was that on there oh but no no that's no, okay that's okay that is the rudder i thought that was a bit crispy there but that's fine it's good that's good can't expect much for not a lot of money it's beautifully packed they really have well i almost was saying they give me a free knife but it's mine now you know I love this bit. If you've watched my other videos of the unboxing, you know I love this bit, and it's the fuselage. This is a lovely fuselage. If I can get it out, and it's quite big. And they're all being right. So let me just hide that for a second. Let's just throw this box over here. If I oh, this seems a bit weighty in there. Wait a minute, he says. <laughs> Gonna need a knife. That seems a bit weighty, matey. Or it could be just me, but it just seems like there's something hidden somewhere.
just me. Pretty good. Okay, stick that over there. And there we go, we've got the fuselage. Oh, let's take this off. Oh, it's just, it, I just love it when you just, <laughs> just brilliant. I, I wish, you know, I wish they everyone would send me planes just to unbox and then I give them back. Oh, look at this. This is, this is here. Oh, God, look, there's me being in there. Right, let me just, if you can hold from there. And then from there. Now, she looks a bit dopey. She's all right. Now, I, I'm a bit, I'm a bit down fambled, if that's the word. Because when I brought the riot and on it has a red spinner and a red cowling, as per se. This has got a white cowling that is it needs looks like a bit more glue maybe. I don't know. Put a couple of screws in there. I should paint it. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to spray it on luminous yellow. So I can see it. But what I do like is that inside is pretty awesome. You have got this here, even though it's got a tiny little bit of a gluey scratch, whatever, is is almost like plasticky. There we go, if I can jump over there, see that? Now look inside. Can you see that timber in there? There's some good construction going on. Good construction. Now I've got to find out where I'm going to put everything. A bit worried because the servos are on the bottom there. So I need to hyper it. Now the actual which I'm not a great fan. This this was turning me against it. If uh, I should really, I'll do this tomorrow anyway when I make video. Is that there's a plastic hatch, a little sticker in there, saying "Secure with Velcro." Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if these lights are making it more shiny. Please leave me a note to say that Chris, they're way too bright because you know. Okay, hasn't got an XD60 connector on it, but I can change that. But that's the battery, so the battery really can't, it's got, I don't know what that is at the front, like a bit of metal or something. But the battery sits in there, so it cannot go anywhere. Excuse me, it's got a nice bit of Velcro on there. Battery gets slammed in, that goes over, keeps the battery cool. But you know, you do know that I do like a top loader. It's alright, I can handle it. So you get the ESC in the back there, it's going to get lovely and cooled down. Um, so it looks like either I stick the transmitter in here, which I'm a bit worried about because it's got it's got the um, servos in there and the cables might push down and stop it. So now there's a quite a bit of room in there, I can play about in here later on, tomorrow, that I might put my... Uh, Receiver in here, in the in the in in this in that bit there. I mean, you can see what I mean. If you can see the servos in there, I hope you can anyway. Um, have to look at that. But it's 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 not huge. It's not massive. I mean, it's you know fair size still. I mean, you know, we'll find somewhere to put it in the hangar, which is a good thing. Um, but it's it's a nice. I just it's just it's just a lot nicer than the Watt 4. I just like it. A bit upset about the cowling because I thought it was gonna be lovely and red. But that's okay. I can probably the spinner is black on this. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was just really expecting that, but I can't moan. I will moan, but I can't moan. Yeah, that is uh it's got a little one MT right PNP red and blue. Funny enough on there it doesn't show yellow. But it... That's my phone. I've got to ask my phone if you like my ringtone. I'll probably get... Right. I'm going to put that on there. I'm sorry Apple that was a bit of your music. Please don't stop my video. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can dub that bit out. Who knows. Anyway someone trying to ring me. Uh, from work and no. Right, okay, so we've got the back wheel as well, so that looks like it's not steerable, but that goes into, fits into the bottom of the rudder. You can see the rudder there. 
but you know that's going to look pretty sexy isn't it as I say we'll do a build video tomorrow um, there's not much to it to be honest with building it but it's raining tomorrow but it's sunny Sunday so I'm hoping to get it all ready get it uh, get it um, binded bound bound um, to the transmitter um, this is only got your standard four channels five channels is it uh, elevator rudder ailerons motor four channels four channels and LED I don't think LED is a channel but I could do that I suppose it's got a little thing on there I think it's got another LED somewhere actually or is it no just put two on the wings two on the wings yeah there's no LED at the back they've even got now I do like this a lot of people forget this but when you when you're on the these are the I don't know what these are control control horn holders I don't know but you get a little like kind of a, a see-through rubbery big fat rubbery band there you can see that there pretty cool but that stops it from pinging open and letting go because that'd be pretty tragic that if the uh, you the little control horn holdy things whatever you call them I'll find out the proper name um, opens up and then you have no control of the plane so not good but yeah I mean the decals are good I mean all the all the foam work is not dented there's a little one there but I'm not that's not major I'm sure it's going to get a few more dents coming out of here but as you can see I mean you know it's uh, it's not a huge huge plane but it's huge so if I put the wings on there there's the wings over there oh stop singing people's songs I'll get told off there you go look it's, it's a nice size plane I mean you know I will take the wings off because it looks like it's nice and simple it's not aggravating so I can take them off take it down the field and it'll be nice and you know we had to store it in here a lot better um, it's not going to be trying hindering I mean yes I have got a uh, I've got a, another uh, well yeah another plane to build <laughs> I couldn't resist myself um, but yeah but, uh, okay well anyway let me leave you with a um, a video of, of wings and wheels it's literally a snap it of what was going on so uh, let's bring that up so I can talk over it I mean look at this this is crazy stuff I mean they were shooting fireworks at LED wings can you believe that awesome 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 fun but, uh, anyway yes yeah, so and yeah, look at this. This is Keith, my trainer. Awesome guy. And I just was with my secondary camera and it looked absolutely crap. So I cut it there. But thanks to Keith for putting up with me. He did say that uh, I'm doing well, that uh, I'm even taking off and I'm taking off nicely. Not just, it's like nice scale. I do like scale flight. So until the next video, until we actually do the uh, build, which will probably be tomorrow. Uh, keep flying and be safe. See you later. Bye-bye now.